Hi, my name is Adina Alpert and I want to spend a few minutes sharing cocktail time with you. For a religion and a culture that already values food and drink as integral parts of our tradition and our religious practice, the Chagim might be the most delicious and creative apex of using food and drink to enhance, engage with, and truly celebrate Judaism. To that end, I want to share two topical cocktails that you can enjoy over the coming holiday season. The first is an apple bourbon sangria. Apples and honey are one of the most ubiquitous and popular foods for Rosh Hashanah and into Sukkot, as they primarily signify hope for a sweet new year. And don't we all need that now more than ever? If the point was just to promote sweetness and hope, though, why an apple? Why not a peach, a mango, or a date? We use the apple in particular because in this time of introspection, repentance, and judgment, we need a little something extra to remind ourselves that we have a loving relationship with Hashem. The Midrash tells us that Gan Eden, where we all started and where we will hopefully end, um, actually has the scent of an apple orchard. And in Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, which we read on Pesach, King Shlomo tells Hashem, Misot ola min hamidbar, mitpareket al doda, tachat hatapuach oritcha. Who is this coming up from the desert, embracing her beloved? Under the apple tree did I arouse you. So in order to have as many delicious apples as possible this year, I offer you apple sangria. First thing to do is to cut up two or three apples, perhaps after you join our Kodesh on a trip to Butler's Orchard for apple picking this September, and place them at the bottom of a pitcher. Since I'm making this just for myself today, we're making it in smaller quantities, but feel free to scale up or down as much as you want. If you're making your sangria with alcohol, pour in some bourbon at this point, and let it all steep for ideally about an hour. When you're ready, add some slices of lemon and slices of orange a few tablespoons of brown sugar and a bit of cinnamon to your sangria. After everything has had a chance to meld together, spend some time together, it's time to add the apple cider and some sparkling wine or some seltzer. You want to have about one bottle of sparkling wine or seltzer and about four cups of apple cider. Add some ice and enjoy your little slice of Gun Eden. Another one of our major food groups for Rosh Hashanah is the beautiful pomegranate. The multitude of seeds in each pomegranate is said to represent our mitzvot that we've done throughout the year. And we pray that Hashem will remember them all as we prepare for Yom Hadin, the judgment from Hashem. The Talmud further explains that the pomegranate's symbolism as it has a tough exterior and we have to work hard to get to the interior sweet seeds. So too, do we hope that Hashem will look past our own tough exteriors and see our inner intentions, our inner sweetness as we head into Yom Kippur? To that end, here's a lovely, fresh pomegranate cocktail to enjoy. So again, if you're making a cocktail for a crowd, you wanna add about a half a cup of cold vodka to your pitcher, then a bit of seltzer. Let me move those apples out of the way. You want to add about a half a cup of triple sec or some other citrus flavored liquor. About a half a cup of some pomegranate juice. A few tablespoons of lemon juice or orange juice. And then you stir it all together. You add some pomegranate seeds to your cup. You pour in your drink and you are ready to go. Enjoy. With both cocktails, 
feel free to improvise, use what you have, and add different flavors, omit the alcohol entirely, and just enjoy. With or without the traditional fruits or foods of the season, or, with or, or, with the, or without these cocktails, I wish you all a sweet new year, full of mitzvot, full of love for Hashem, and love for the Jewish people. Shana Tova, Umetukah.